Shook it up. Good morning, lovely people. Today is Thursday, it is the 15th of August. I am up, I am semi-dressed, but not really dressed because this is what I kind of throw on, so I'm not in pajamas. And I'm just gonna take you through my day and what I eat today for a day. I haven't started yet, I haven't even had coffee. So let's see what Lainey eats in a day. I'm gonna have to sort this crap out later because it's all very messy. Mm. So it's a bit messy in the house today. So I have been up and um, fed the dogs and cleaned the kitchen, things like that that I do first thing in the morning. But I haven't showered, haven't done makeup clearly. And well, I did just put on the end of a lipstick that was running out, so I don't usually have quite so pink lips. But as you've seen, it's all worked. My minions have arrived. If only they worked for me. When are you gonna get a job, huh? When are you gonna get a job and start earning some money? I don't, well, fair enough. So I've made Lex coffee, but I haven't made me one. So we have the proper coffee machine, which uses the ground beans. And then I also have my Nespresso capsules, which aren't as strong. I get them from Gourmetso and you can get flavoured ones. I think I'll start my day with one of these and um, I might have a proper one later. But these have definitely less caffeine in them than proper beans. So I should have one of the hazelnut flavour ones. That's my favourite. Starting the day, as you always should, with a nice healthy dose of caffeine. Um, one of my big glass cups that are heart shaped that everyone asked me about and they are from Amazon or eBay. If I find a link for them, I'll link it down below and you can check them out yourself, see if you want to get them. They're not expensive. I've broke a couple and just replaced them because they're not expensive. But they come in different sizes as well, so I think I've got like the large and the extra large because I like a large coffee. So in place of sweetener in my coffee, I'm adding in some of the flavour drops. So it's a nut nougat flavour. And it does add a lot of sweetness, so I usually add in about four drops. There, I think I did a few more. Then I'm gonna add in a dash of coconut almond milk, the chocolate blend from Clippia Farms. If you're in the UK, you can get it in Sainsbury's. So um, it just makes it a little bit more yummy. I just usually add in about 20 to 40 ml and then Oh, perfect. Thought I'd put it in too many drops because sometimes you can over sweeten it. But uh, yeah, these little drops, very inexpensive. You can throw them in your handbag. Um, I also use Candrel, obviously. I like the squirty ones rather than the tablets. Um, and you can get these in a number of different flavors and you can just carry them in your handbag, for whatever, bring them to work with you. If they only have like plain yogurts or whatever, you can add a little bit of flavor your yogurts or crappy coffee spice it up a bit first coffee of the day so it's time for dog walks hence why dogs are mental where are we going we're we going for a walk that's also why i have very questionable dress sense right now so this is what we wear when we walk in fields with dogs Did you enjoy your walk bailey yeah roxy Thoughts on the walk, Lex? Well, I guess poo updates. Poop. Poop, poop updates. Poop. They did simultaneous poos. Simultaneous poos. <laughs> so I'm all dressed now and showered after walking the dogs where they did simultaneous poos. And now I have to have my water with all my selection of supplements. Who are these? Farewell, family. See you later. 
Keep busy. Rub time. Bye bye. Lex. Mr. Griffin. So I'm just on my way into town to see the lovely Danny in YLB to get a mini infill done on my lashes. So I only had them done last week and normally I get them done every two weeks but because I'm in Ireland next week I'm missing my appointment so she's doing a little mini infill that will have to last for three weeks until my next proper appointment. So haven't eaten yet, had one coffee, um, walked the dog so I'm getting my steps in. I'm still aiming to get 10,000 steps in a day, averaging 70,000 a week. So there will be days where I do more and some days I do less. Then I have to go to the gym later. Um, I'll try and do some cardio. I'll make us some breakfast when I get back. I do kind of semi fast in the morning. It's not really strict or anything. It's just if I'm hungry I'll eat but most mornings I don't really feel that hungry. I just have coffee and then usually about 12, 1 p.m. I'll have a bigger breakfast, something substantial that keeps me going then most of the day really because then I'll have like a snack maybe and dinner. I don't really do kind of three meals. I do kind of two bigger meals and then snacks. That's what suits me. It suits my lifestyle and um, my energy levels. So I usually also have a shake at some point. Um, usually either before or after the gym I'll have a shake just to get some protein in because as of late if you haven't seen in my previous videos my appetite has not reduced but it's just become more controlled and as a result um, I'm just not eating as many meals so I just go with how I feel. So there's no point in forcing myself to eat like six meals packed full of protein and chicken and I don't want to so I usually have a good bit of protein with my breakfast, protein with dinner and then the shake just kind of keeps me going in between and then maybe like a protein bar at some point during the day. So that's what I feel like with food like there's so many mixed messages out there about what you should and you shouldn't be doing. You should be intermittent fasting, you should be fasting cardio, you should be eating six meals a day. But well, just do what suits you and what works for you because everybody and everybody is different. Like literally our bodies are different, we respond differently. So what works for you might work for someone else. Being low carb or higher fat or something like that might work for you. Like Lex is on a higher fat diet. I tried it for a while. I um, could see the benefits of it, but I just didn't feel satiated enough, so I went back to regular level of fats and increased my carbs because it just suits me better and my daily intake. Whereas for him, it definitely the higher fat definitely suits him. Um, high carbs just wasn't really it was healthy because he was eating a lot of sugary carbs to get his carbs in whereas when he's eating fats he's eating better sources of fat and healthier sources of fats so he eats a lot of nuts and things like that and it's easier to feed as a man he's when he was higher carb lower fat it was just hard to feed him and keep him satiated whereas now um, he gets quite full from his meals and he's just a lot easier to feed every day don't have to be kind of worrying about getting sugary carbs in and cereals and things like that. I just felt like it was a really shitty way of eating. But yes, on that note, I'm going to continue because I'm almost at my destination. And uh, there's a dog on the road. Silly doggy. Um, and we're going to pack up, go get the lashes done. I know they look really good already, so probably shouldn't take a long. She's only doing like a 45 minute appointment. I'm rambling now. See you soon. So I'm in from getting my lashes topped up. I had a coffee when I was out in Costa and I have adopted a six year old girl as well called Ella who doesn't like being on camera so we won't force her to be on the camera but we went to McDonald's and got her a McFlurry and Lex a McFlurry and Lex some chicken selects. So now what does Lainey want? I think I'd like a bacon sandwich so I'm going to have some of the bacon medallions from Muscle Food. And I like to add some 
some cheese. In a thin. That's what I'm gonna have for my breakfast. So we will go to the gym later. I think. Oh, oh, oh. So since we are now babysitting, um, we're gonna go to the gym a little bit later. We're probably gonna bring the dogs on a W A L K. I don't want to say it because they they understand when I say the W word. So we won't say that. And we shall carry on with our day of eating. Because I'm hungry now. I've only had two coffees and my vitamins and some water. So get in my face, bacon sandwich. Mm. So breakfast is served. We have a sandwich thin. You can see drippy goodness here from the Marmite. We've got some eat lean cheese, some muscle food bacon. Yummy. Perfect. And then we have for Lex cup of tea and a beaver bar. Lex likes beaver. And red dot. That means we're recording. Mm. Oh, Ella's in the video. Mm. Because Ella mm. is having a chocolate milkshake from McDonald's. I am having my delicious healthy McDonald's mm -hmm. milkshake. It's a little bit healthier, isn't it, Ella? Mm -hmm. And I'm having some of the Fit Way protein mixed with some true beauty collagen because collagen is good for old people, Ella. Because when you're young, you have loads of collagen in your body, but when you get older, you have no collagen left, and that's why you get old and wrinkly. But if we drink the collagen, it'll make us younger. But you don't need any collagen right now. Just chocolate milkshakes. <laughs> and uh, we're making protein muffins right now. Ella has been my sous chef for the day, <laughs> which involves sitting on the countertop and stirring. So, and then we're going to eat the muffins, which Ella decided no to blueberries. No to blueberries, so hers is no blueberries, but mine have blueberries in, because I like blueberries. <laughs> so, shake and back. <laughs> so Ella and I made some healthy muffins and Ella added some chocolate spread to hers. You're a chocolate monster. <laughs> Blueberry muffin. Blueberry. So they're like a breakfast recipe I'm working on. And for me. <laughs> <laughs> so my little helper for today has gone home and I'm rewarding myself for being a good babysitter with a cup of coffee and a protein bar. As I said, I like have two big meals and a snack so I think I'll have one of my this is my little woman's best cupboard oh, I will have one of these so these are the women's best chocolate hazelnut crunch 15 grams of protein and they are tasty and then I get on make a dinner I haven't gone to the gym yet and I was kind of debating anyway today whether or not I will go so I'll see if Lex fancies going a bit later. I'll go. If not, I'll just go tomorrow. I've already done two days in a row. So, a day of rest will not kill me. I might just do some cardio instead. So I'm just prepping dinner and we have little individual portions. This is my version of like nachos. We have some butternut squaffles. You could also use sweet potato fries, anything you want, but that's your base. Then here, we have some minced chicken breast and I just have some peppers, onion, chipotle paste and just a small amount of chopped tomatoes. That is going to go on top of that. Then we are going to add on some of this cheese and some of these jalapenos which you can leave out if you don't like the spicy but I like to make mine spicy. And then we're just going to pop them all back in the oven. And then tissues at the ready because it's a little bit spicy and it makes your nose run. But that's dinner and I'm just going to get that on and then I'm going to enjoy that. And then dessert for me will probably be some high protein yogurt with some nice toppings, maybe a halo top lollipop ice cream. Mm, I've just had a can of Pepsi. Might have a jammy dodger later. 
And that's food for the day. I'll keep you updated though. So dinner is ready. Look at all that cheesy nacho goodness. I'm just waiting for Lex to come down so we can enjoy this together. I am on day 11 of my 14 day mojo. And honestly, it really is working. I've had a few days where I felt a bit well, and I pulled myself out of it because I'm getting my mojo back. I'm being positive and you can do too. You just have to acknowledge when you're not spiraling but feeling a bit down i tend to have like bad dreams wake up and feel kind of crappy and then mornings i've just had to pick myself up get rid of the negative thoughts from my head do something productive and positive with my day like today i went and got my lash done and then had the joy of spending the day with ella who is a six-year-old and has a very innocent and enlightening view on life which i quite enjoyed and that was my day so far. Now Lex has finished his work. We get to chill out, eat dinner together, maybe watch a movie, something like that, and just enjoy time together because that's what it's all about. It's about the balance between working hard and then enjoying life as well. So don't forsake one for the other. That's a very happy belly after dinner. And now I'm going to have this for dessert. So we have some strawberries, some vanilla high protein yogurt, some almond coconut butter, which I get from Muscle Food, and some of the ooh, sucrine gold syrup, which I get from Amazon. And it is delicious. Yummy. Yummy. This is how we're ending our evening. Jammy Dodgers family pack. There's two left. One for me, one for Lex. And there's another pack in the gold because we always have jammy dodgers in this household. So if you're from the States and you don't know what a jammy dodger is, it is a biscuit base with raspberry jam in the middle and then a biscuit top. And it's a jammy dodger. I don't know what they're called, something else. It might be called jammy ring, something like that. I hope you have enjoyed my full day of eating, babysitting, dog walking, etc. And you join me next time for another step inside Lainey's life. Yeah, I'm soup, man. I spend my time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me. I said, girl, you can sit on me. Cause bitch, they be hating.